What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today I'll be covering the latest weapon patch and balancing changes they did to a bunch of weapons within Black Ops 3. So there's a ton of nerfs, also buffs and also specialist weapons and abilities and stuff like that. There's a ton of stuff track I've done just off feedback for the multiplayer beta. I'm be going over all that stuff in this video. So if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like rating and of course subscribe for future videos on this channel. So first off, one of the best weapons in the game, the M87 Assault Rifle, that Burst Fire Assault Rifle, which is very, very good. That that's got an increased time between bursts and also increased recoil. So it's now a little bit less accurate and it shoots quite a bit slower. That's a bad nerf. The Dracon single shot sniper, which is actually pretty good. That got a very hard nerf. It got increased recoil. The fire rate is a little bit faster, which is a good thing. And also got hitting an enemy in the upper chest no longer gets one hit kills. You have to hit in the neck to do a one hit kill and obviously the head as well. So it's going to be a very, very weak sniper. It used to get one hit kills pretty consistently, but now you need to get headshots or neck shots to be able to get those one hits. And that's a very, very bad nerf to a sniper that was actually pretty good. Uh, the Razorback SMG, probably one of the best SMGs in the game. At longer ranges, it used to be a four shot kill, but now it's been changed. So now it's going to be a five shot kill at the longer ranges and still a four shot kill at the close to medium ranges and also got increased recoil. So quite a bad nerf to that weapon. The HVK assault rifle, that got a buff. Its hip fire spread is now a little bit smaller, so it's going to be a little more accurate at the hips. That's a good thing. The Vespa got a nerf, the SMG. That used to kill in four shots out to 350 units but now it's only going to kill in four shots to 300 so the range has been slightly reduced from that anything beyond is going to be a five shot kill the haymaker which is the fully auto shotgun the fire has been increased by about 10 percent so they said that should be noticeable and it's also going to take roughly 2.25 seconds to empty a standard magazine so it shoots a little bit quicker and it's going to be a lot more aggressive the krm262 which is the pump action shotgun it's got its close damage increase so you should never get a non-lethal hit within 250 units which is a pretty close range and damage at further distance has been reduced so you can't get a one hit kill as far out even when you're aiming down sight so the krm was definitely a weak shotgun like it's really inconsistent and you would get hit markers when you're really close but hopefully that's been fixed now and the xr2 which is the burst fire assault rifle the delay between bursts has been reduced by a frame so a very very slight change so the xr2 actually got a buff since e3 you might remember it was a very strong weapon and it shot really quickly but now it's been reduced since gamescom and now it's been buffed a little bit again to make it a little bit more competitive with a weapon like the m8a7 the kinetic armor ability which of course gives you armor for a short amount of time was five seconds and now it lasts for seven seconds when activated an active camo the one that makes you invisible from spectre that used to last four seconds and now it lasts five seconds so it's got a bit of a buff there the glitch ability got a little bit of a nerf it used to take 1.5 minutes and now it takes two full minutes to earn with no score and also you don't travel back as far as you you did the vision pulse ability from outrider that also got a nerf its range is now a little bit shorter than what it used to be 1400 units from 1600 the ripper ability which of course the like close quarters melee ability from spectre that got a little bit of a buff it now takes two minutes to earn with no score instead of three like it used to and it now lasts for 20 seconds instead of the 15 seconds that it used to profits tempest weapon which is personally one of my favorite weapons to use the beam has a slightly smaller width now and you have to be a little more on target to be able to hit people so that's of course a nerf and it also got nerfed in the sense that the death cam time after being killed is now 2.5 seconds down from three so if you didn't know when you got hit by the tempest electric weapon you actually be stuck there being electrocuted for three seconds and now you don't get electrocuted as long so it's not as much as a delay and also there's less time for you to be chained to someone else because if you don't know with that weapon if you get hit by it and while you're getting electrocuted that little three second animation if one of your teammates walks near you they're going to get electrocuted as well so it's now a little bit less effective in terms of chaining people together and then there's the speed burst ability from uh, Ruin. His ability is now a little bit quicker to use, so instead of lasting five seconds, it now lasts for 5.5 seconds, or a slight increase in the duration. The War Machine, which caused the massive grenade launcher, which is very, very frustrating to go against. The clip size has been reduced from eight to six, and the explosion radius has been reduced. And then finally, the Rejack ability, which is, of course, very controversial. That has caught another nerf. It now takes three minutes to earn instead of two minutes. And the animation which you actually get up from Rejack off the floor after you do it is now 1.5 seconds instead of one. So it's a little bit slower to actually get up and get your weapon ready. So they made it a little bit harder to engage gunfights in that sense. And if you don't know, a couple of days ago, they also made it so that your score 
streak progress does not continue. That was a bug, and Von Hard did say that it was a bug, that you shouldn't be able to keep your nuclear streaks and your score streak at counters. So that is now going to be reset. So Rejack has been definitely very, very hit hard. And uh, let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Something else that Von Hard mentioned is that the Black Cat is going to be worked on, and they're going to be changing some stuff about that. Of course, that's very controversial as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I want to know if you guys think that stuff is needed or not needed. If there's something you like that got nerfed that you thought was unnecessary, or maybe there's something that you still think is overpowered that needs to get nerfed in Black Ops 3. I want to know your thoughts. I want to see what you think about the state of Black Ops 3. I think it's very good they've done a patch this early on. And again, like I've said, this is why they do a beta, because this stuff would have been rampant at the first week of launch for Black Ops 3. But now, all of this is going to be fixed. So it's definitely a better game than it will be in November 6th. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like rating if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video.